Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kirti. So today in this video we'll be learning about Indian cities. So let's get into this video. For the first one is Andhra Pradesh, that the capital is Amravati. Andhra Pradesh is a state in the southeastern coastal region of India. It is the seventh largest state by area covering an area of 162,975 km and 10th most populous state with 49,386,799 inhabitants with the state capital being Amravati and largest city in the state is Visakhapatnam. Capital is Amravati. Governor is Biswabhushan Hari Chandan. Chief Minister is Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy. And it was founded in 1st November 1956. Next one is Arunachal Pradesh and its capital is Itanagar. Arunachal Pradesh is a state in northeastern India. It was formed from the erstwhile Northeast Frontier Agency region and became a state on 20th February 1987. It borders the states of Assam and Nagaland to south. Capital is Itanagar in executive branch. Chief Minister is Pema Kandu. Population is 12.6 lakhs from 2012 and official animal is Gael. And the next one is Assam and its capital is Dispur. Assam is a state in northeastern India known for its wildlife, archaeological sites and tea plantations. In the West Guwahati, Assam's largest city features silk bazaars and the hilltop Kamakya Temple. Amanda Temple sits on Peacock Island in the Brahmaputra River. The state capital Dispur is a sub -herb of Gavahati, the ancient pilgrimage site of Haju and Madan Samdi. The ruins of a temple complex lie nearby. Its capital is Dispur and the chief minister is Himanta Biswa Sharma. Population is 3.9 crores. In 2012, the next one is Bihar and its capital city is Patna. Bihar is a state in East India bordering Nepal. It is divided by the river Ganges which floods its fertile plains. Important Buddhist pilgrimage sites include the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya's Mahabodhi temple under which the Buddha allegedly meditated. In the state capital Patna, Mahavir Mandir temple is reversed river by Hindus while Sikhs worship at the domed riverside Gudwara of Tat Sri Harmandir Sahibji. The governor of the state is Pagu Chauhan and the capital is Patna and the chief minister is Nitish Kumar and the population is 9.9 .9 crores in 2012. The next one is the Chhattisgarh and its capital city is Raipur. Chhattisgarh is a heavily forested state in central India known for its temples and waterfalls. Near the capital Raipur, the town of Sirpur on the Mahanadi River is home to the red brick Lakshmana Lakshman temple decorated with carvings from Indian mythology. In the south, the city of Jagdalpur hosts the Sanjay market on Sundays, a bartering place for local tribes. The huge Chitrakut Falls lie to the northwest. Chhattisgarh was founded on 1st November 2000 and its capital is Raipur and the governor is Anusuya UK. Chief Minister is Bhupesh Bagel. And the next one is Goa and its capital city is Panaji. Goa is a state in western India which coastlines stretching along the Arabian Sea. Its long history as a Portuguese colony prior to 1961 is evident in its preserved 17th century churches and the area's tropical spice plantations. 
Goa is also known for its beaches ranging from popular stretches at Baga and Palolem to those in laid back fishing villages such as Agonda. And it was founded on 30 May 1987 and its capital is Panaji and it, its chief minister is Pramod Savant and the population is 18.2 lakhs in 2012. And the next one is Gujarat and its capital is Gandhinagar. Gujarat is a state on western coast of India with a coastline of about 1600 km, longest in the country, most of which lies on the Katiawar Peninsula and the population of 60.4 million. It is its fifth largest Indian state by area and the ninth largest state by population. Capital is Gandhinagar. Governor Acharya Devrat, Chief Minister Bhupendra Bhai Patel, population 6.27 crores in 2013. And the next one is Haryana, capital Chandigarh. Haryana is a north Indian state surrounding New Delhi on three sides. The Yamuna River runs along its eastern border with Uttar Pradesh, shared with Punjab. The state capital Chandigarh is known for its modernist buildings and grid-like street plan designed by Swiss architect Le Corbusier. The Zakir Hussein Rose Garden features 1,600 species, while its rock garden showcases sculptures made with recycled materials. Capital is Chandigarh. Governor is Bandaru Dattatreya and Chief Minister is Manohar. Lal Qatar. The next one is Himachal and the capital is Shimla. Himachal Pradesh is the northern Indian state in the Himalayas. It's home to scenic mountains, towns, mountain towns and resorts such as Dalhousie. Who's the Dala, Dalai Lama? Himachal Pradesh has strong Tibetan presence. This is reflected in its Buddhist temples and monasteries as well as its vibrant Tibetan New Year celebrations. The region is also well known for its trekking, climbing and skying areas. It's founded on 25th January 1971. The chief minister is Jairam Thakur and the population is 68.6 lakhs in 2012. And the next one is Jammu and Kashmir and its capital in summer is Srinagar and Jammu in winter. Jammu and Kashmir is a region administrated by Indian as an union territory and consisting of the southern portion of the larger Kashmir region which has been the subject of dispute between India and Pakistan since 1947 and between India and China since 1962. And its union, it has been union territory from 31st October 2019 and it has 20 districts and its high, highest evaluation that is Nanpeak is 7135 meter that means 23,409 feet and its administrating country is India. Next one is Jharkhand and its capital is Ranchi. Jharkhand is a state in eastern India. It's known for its waterfalls, the elegant Jain temples of Parasnath Hill and the elephants and tigers of Betla National Park. The state capital of Ranchi is a gateway to the park. It features the 17th century Jagannath Temple, a Hindu shrine and the Jharkhand War Memorial. Tagore Hill is a monument honoring Nobel Prize winning author Rabindranath Tagore. It was founded on 15th November 2000 and its capital is Ranchi. The chief minister is Hemant Soren. The population is 3.19 crores in 2012. The next one is Karnataka. That's capital is Bengaluru. Karnataka is a state in southwest India with Arabian Sea coastlines. The capital Bengaluru, formerly Bengaluru, Bangalore is a high-tech hub known for its shopping and nightlife. To the southwest, Mysore is home to lavish temples including Mysore Palace, 
former seat of regions maharajas hampi once the medieval vijayanagara empire capital contains ruins of hindu temples elephant stables and a stone chariot the governor of karnataka is tavar chand gelot and the capital and its capital is bengaluru and the chief minister is baswaraj bommai and the population is 6.41 crores in 2014 and the next one is kerala and its capital is tiruvananthapuram kerala a state on india's tropical malabar coast has nearly 600 km of arabian sea shoreline it's known for its palm lined beaches and backwater a new of cal a network of canals inland are the western ghats mountains whose slopes support tea coffee and spice plantations as well as wildlife national parks like eravikulam and periyar plus vayanad and other sanctuaries are home to elephants langur monkeys and tigers in kerala's governor is arif mohammad khan and its capital is tiruvananthapuram and the population is 3.46 crores in 2018 and the chief minister is pinarayi vijayan in the next one is madhya pradesh and the capital is bhopal madhya pradesh a large state in central india retains landmarks from eras throughout indian history begun in the 10th century its hindu and jain temples at kad Kajurao are renowned for their carvings of erotic scenes most prominently Kandariya Mahadeva a temple with more than 800 sculptures the eastern Bandagar and Kanna national parks noted Bengal tiger sanctuaries offer guided safaris and its capital is Bhopal and the chief minister is Shivraj Singh Chauhan and the population is 7.33 crores in 2012 the next one is maharashtra mumbai maharashtra is a state in the western and central peninsula region of india occupying a substantial portion of the deccan plateau maharashtra is the second most populous state in india and the second most popular country subdivision globally and its governor is bhagat singh koshyari and capital is mumbai and the chief minister is uddhav thackeray right? and the population is 11.42 crores in 2012 and the next one is manipur and its capital is impal manipur is a state in northeast india with the city of impal as its capital it's bounded by the indian states of nagaland to the north mizoram to the south and assam to the west it also borders two regions of myanmar Sagaing region to the east and Chin state, Chin state to the south. It was founded on 21st January 1972, and its capital is Impal. The chief minister is N. Biren Singh, and the official bird is Hume's pheasant. Next one is Meghalaya, and its capital is Shillong. Meghalaya is a state in northeastern India. Meghalaya was formed by carving out two districts from the state of Assam the united kashi hills and jaintia hills and the garo hills on 21st january 1972 and the capital is shillong governor is satyapal malik chief minister is konrad sangma and the population is 26.5 lakhs in 2012 the next one is mizoram and dates Capital is Aizawal. Mizoram is a state in northeastern India with Aizawal as its seat of government and capital city. The name of the state is derived from Mizo, the self-described name of which native inhabitants, and Ram, which is which in the Mizo language means land. Thus, Mizoram means land of the Mizos. Capital is Aizawal. Chief minister is Zoram Tanga. and population is 11.2 lakhs in 2014 and the official animal is sumatran zero next one is nagaland and its capital is kohima 
Nagaland is a mountain state in the northeast India bordering Myanmar. It's home to diverse indigenous tribes with festivals and markets celebrating the different tribes' culture. Its capital city of Kohima suffered heavy fighting in World War II. Commemorated by memorials at Kohima War Cemetery, the Nagaland State Museum exhibits ancient weaponry, a ceremonial drum, and other traditional Naga cultural artifacts. Found, it was founded on 30 November 1963 and its capital is in Kohima and the chief minister is Neifu Ryu and the population is 22.8 lakhs in 2012 and the official bird is Blythe's Tragopan. The next one, Odisha, formerly Orissa, an eastern Indian state on the Bay of Bengal is known for its tribal cultures and its many ancient Hindu temples. The capital, Bhubaneswar, is home to hundreds of temples, notably the intricately carved Mukteshwara, the Lingaraj temple complex dating to the 11th century, is set around sacred Bindu Sagar Lake. The Odisha State Museum is focused on the area's history and environment. The governor is Ganeshi Lal and the capital is Bhubaneswar and the chief minister is Naveen Patnaik and the population is 4.37 crores in 2014. And the next one is Punjab and the capital is Chandigarh. Punjab, a state bordering Pakistan, is the heart of India's Sikh community. The city of Amritsar, founded in the 1570s by Sikh Guru Ram Das, is the site of Harmandir Sahib. The holiest Gurdwara Sikh place of worship, known in the English as the Golden Temple and surrounded by the Pool of Nectar, it's a major pilgrimage site. Also in Amritsar, it's Durgiana Temple, a Hindu shrine fame, famed for its engraved silver doors. The capital is Chandigarh. Governor is Banwar, Ban, Banwari Lal Purohit, Chief Minister Bhagwantman and the population 2.8 crores in 2012. And the next one is Rajasthan Jaipur. Rajasthan is a state in northern India. It covers 342,239 square kilometers or 10.4% of India's total geographical area. It is the largest Indian state by area and the seventh largest by population. The governor is Kalraj Mishra. The capital is Jaipur and the population is 6.89 crores in 2012. And the chief minister is Ashok Gehlot. And the next one is Sikkim Gantok. Sikkim is a state in northeast India, bordered by Bhutan, Tibet and Nepal. Part of the Himalayas, the area has a dramatic landscape that includes India's highest mountain, 8,586 meter Kanchenjunga. Sikkim is also home to glaciers alpine meadows and thousands of varieties of wildflowers. Steep paths lead to hilltop Buddhist monasteries such as Pemayanist, which dates to the early 17th. Capital Gangtok, Governor Ganga Prasad, population 6.19 lakhs in 2001 and Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang. The next one is Tamil Nadu, Chennai. Tamil Nadu, a South Indian state, is famed for its Dravidian style Hindu temples in Madurai, Meenakshi Amman temple has high Gopuram towers ornamented with colorful figures. On Tamban Island, Ramanta Swami temple is pilgrimage site. The town of Kanyakumari at India's southernmost tip is the site of ritual sunrises. Capital Chennai is known for beaches and landmarks including 1644 colonial fort St. George. Governor R. N. Ravi, capital Chennai. Chief Minister and Stalin, population 6.79 crores in 2012. The next one is Telangana, Hyderabad. Telangana is a state in southern India. In the capital of Hyderabad, the Charminar is a 16th century mosque with four arcs supporting four towering minarets. The monument overlooks the city long, city's long running Lad Bazaar, was the seat of the Qutb Shahi dynasty, the sprawling Golconda fort is a former diamond trading center. In the city of Warangal, the centuries-old Warangal fort features carved stones, towers and gateways. Founded on 
second june 2014 governor tamili sai saundaranjan capital hyderabad chief minister k chandrashekar rao the next one is tripura agartala tripura is a hilly state in the northeast india bordered on three sides by bangladesh and home to diverse mix of tribal cultures and religious groups in the capital agartala the imposing Jayanta Palace is set among Mughal gardens and Jedu Mia's mosque has white marble domes and towers. South of the city, Nir Mahal Summer Palace sits in the middle of Lake Rudra Sagar and blends Hindu and Islamic architectural styles. The capital is Agartala, Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Deb, population 36.6 lakhs in 2012. The next one, Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow. Uttar Pradesh is a state in northern India with over 200 million inhabitants. It is the most populated state in India as well as the most populous country subdivision in the world. It was established in 1950 after India had become a republic. Governor An Anand Ben Patil, population 20.42 crores in 2012. Capital Lucknow, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. Uttarakhand Dehradun. Uttarakhand, a state in northern India crossed by the Himalayas, is known for its Hindu pilgrimage sites. Rishikesh, a major center for yoga study, was made famous by the Beatles' 1968 visit. The city hosts the evening Ganga Arti, a spiritual gathering on the sacred Ganges River. The state's forested Jim Corbett National Park shelters Bengal tigers and other native wildlife. Governor Gurmit Singh, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dami, and the population 1.1 crores 2012. West Bengal, Kolkata. West Bengal is a state in eastern India between the Himalayas and the Bay of Bengal. Its capital, Kolkata, formerly Calcutta, retains architecturally, architectural and cultural remnants of its past and an East India Company trading post and capital of the British Raj. The city colonial landmarks include the government buildings around BBD, Bagh Square and the iconic Victoria Memorial dedicated to Britain's Queen. The governor is Jagdeep Dankar, capital Kolkata, population 9.3 crores in 2012, Chief Minister Mamata Benerjee. And the next, and, and uh, we have finished all the 29 states of India. And now I lastly wanted to show you the India map. So here is the India map and you can see all the states which I have explained to you here. Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Orisha, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, Arunachal Pradesh. Everything which I have explained you is here. And please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to comment below what next video I should keep. And even don't forget to comment below what next vlog I should keep. So I'll just try to travel and just keep the vlog to you. And once again, please like, share and subscribe to my channel guys. Bye everyone. We will meet you in the next video.